So I might, uh, I might dive deeper down into the rabbit hole, you know, of this subject, but for now I'm just going to kind of graze the, the top of it. Um, so I went to Catholic schools for, uh, for elementary school, middle school and high school. And, um, you know, I kind of consider this looking back on it, it was kind of one of the things that damaged me the most and uh, prevented me from growing the most as a person, I think. Uh, so I went, I lived in, you know, kind of a middle class town. I went to school, I went to middle and elementary school and middle school at a private Catholic school, the next town over, which happened to be kind of in a, in a tie for the richest two uh, towns in the state of Rhode Island that I grew up in. Uh, so I went to school with a bunch of rich kids. And it was a very small school, not a whole lot of kids. And, you know, basically I was, I was the poor kid. But uh, the point is, it was a small school. Not a wide variety of people. Um, you know, and uh, that they were, you know, I was the poor kid. So not a wide variety of people. And most of them were different from me. At least it seemed that way at the time. Then high school, I went to another Catholic school. Uh, my brother and sister went to Catholic schools. I was having trouble in school. It was around the time my mom died. I wasn't able to get into the, uh, any of the bigger, you know, Catholic high schools. So I ended up going to, there's a really, really, another really, really small private Catholic school, 30 kids in my class, like 200 something kids in the entire school. And that included grade seven and eight, maybe grade six, seven and eight as well. There was like a middle school attached to it. Very small. Um, and the reason why I think this was so bad for me, again, looking back on it, uh, I mean, number one, if I went to a bigger public school, I would have had access to better soccer coaches and things would have been different there. But that's not really the, the main focus of this. Uh, again, small, small group of people, not a wide variety of people. Um, basically I was like sheltered from the real world and, you know, I kind of went through my teenage years, like in this fake, like cut out portion of society. And I just didn't learn about people, um, you know, and, and what I did learn wasn't really, uh, you know, I was very naive, um, you know, kind of growing up this way caused me to be very naive. Um, and you know, the older I've gotten, the more I've realized that people skills are, <laughs> I mean, obviously people skills are really important and knowing your way around, um, Just working at, working at a, I work at a big gym, nine, 10,000 members. It's the only gym in town. So there's people of every demographic you could possibly imagine. It's a, it's a pretty good sized town. Um, and so there isn't like a different gyms for different types of people. It's like pretty much the gym. So everybody goes there. Um, you know, and one thing I've realized the time that I've been there, um, I'm just, I'm very naive and I really don't, it's taken me a while to kind of figure out what's going on in front of me. And, um, it's like, it's like being handicapped. It's like being socially handicapped. Um, you know, you're, you're at a disadvantage if you've, if you kind of lack experiences with, uh, with a wide range of types of people. Um, 
I don't know, it's the the Catholic or it's kind of like a religious thing to to want to shelter your your children from like the evils of the world, but the first of all, I mean I can understand if you want to live your life a certain way, but even if you're you know, hardcore religious person and it's just not good to protect your kids, to be overly protective, um, you know, and shelter them and, uh, um, you know, it, it, it prevented me from growing and learning and I mean, it, to be honest, it prevented me from learning about myself. Like, I really think that, you know, those experiences that I've just talked about have played a big factor in, you know, uh, I'm 36 years old and I'm not exactly at the point that I would like my life to be at. And, um, you know, being socially handicapped is kind of, uh, it's, it's played a role in, you know, me not being as far ahead of the game as I would like to be at this age. Uh, anyway, this is going on a little bit longer than I wanted to. I just kind of, this was kind of impulsive. I'm, I'm about to go to bed and, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk about that. Maybe give any parents a heads up, not to shelter your kids. And, uh, you know, maybe if you're a young person, you're kind of struggling to figure out your way through this world. I don't know. Hopefully, maybe this video helped a little bit. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.